Hi there, Cancer. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your reading for October 2nd to October 8th. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. This may or may not resonate for you, as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. I have pre-shuffled these three decks for you before turning on the camera. And I do apologize for the delay. There's some really strong energies going on right now, and they are affecting me in a very big way. This is for the sign of Cancer. All right, I'm going to zoom that in for you. The basis of your reading is the Magician card. As above, so below. Okay. I also have to tell you, the Magician is about manifestation. It's about attention. It is about oneness. And it is about action. Actions speak louder than words. Okay. So that is the basis of your reading. It's about actions this week. Um, I, and, and, you know, there is a connection to somebody here. And it does, I mean, there could be um, something could happen regarding a relationship, all right? Because we do have, here we have this relationship, this attraction. Maybe you're even committed to somebody and there's some kind of secret that you know about. You know there's a secret. You know you probably even know what it is. And it could it could um, make you independent. Okay, you, it could because this is the independent person, man or woman, who is it's often the widower, the widow, the um, divorcee, somebody who's living on their own. You know they be, they become independent. It could happen very quickly, you know, somebody could, something very hasty and opinionated could have happened, and it could have happened very quickly. We have the tower card here. That means that there was a false foundation. Maybe there was a false notion that you had, and you were aware of it the whole time, but you were in denial. Um, and it looks like perhaps there was a karmic uh, connection. There's a karmic connection to somebody. And maybe it was just a karmic debt that needed to be paid. And you could be finally paying off that debt and moving on and letting it go and moving to another spot in your life. Because it just looks like um, it's bringing you closer to your life's purpose, whatever this is. And I think that there, for many of you, there could be thinking, you could be thinking about a split from somebody or there could actually be a split all right, and you've got these messages. Um, you have a divine connection, all right, and you've got the messages from above. And you have these secrets. They really aren't secrets. You are the master. You have the master of your emotions. You have this divine connection. They really can't keep any secrets from you because you have this divine connection that is um, very, very powerful, all right? Um I do see that perhaps you may take a period of time this week to refocus on you on yourself, refocus on your goals, refocus on your plan, go within, just step back. You might feel like hiding in your shell for a minute or a few days or whatever because I think that either something has happened or it is going to happen that is going to cause a breakdown and it could be a breakdown within a relationship. Um, that's what it looks like to me. So I think there's there's going to be some kind of breakdown and somebody might be considering or even acting because we have this action right here, taking action and deciding that they don't want to do this anymore. 
okay, because they had higher expectations. I, I think the expectations were were higher and they didn't come to fruition as you had hoped. And this could have to do with a commitment that you were in um, or are still in, all right? And we have karma here. You're about to have an awakening. You're about to have an epiphany, all right? But just everything happens for a reason, all right? You, ha you have this divine connection. And I think a lot of you, many of you are, have probably just paid off a karmic debt. Okay, because I see it's go you're letting it go. You, you're probably letting something go this week. And it may have been an illusion from the beginning. you kind of dreamy, you know, a dreamy connection. And, you know, you did everything that you could do to make it work. I, I see that you did. But I think this other person, whoever it is that you're thinking about while I'm talking, they may have been a little impulsive, you know, and a little... Um, Oh, what's the word for it? Mouthy, per se. They may, and, and for lack of a better word, you know, they may have been a little too um, judgmental, you know, and and just too hard to deal with. They may have brought in brought some conflicts into your life, and now you're just like, you know, I'd rather be independent. Now, this may or may not resonate with all of you because it's for hundreds and thousands of people. But I do see that you have given it your best shot. You have. You have just given it your all. This card says that you have other choices, okay? You do have other choices. Be careful what you choose, because what you own owns you. And I think that you have come to that realization. And I think that's why the tower is here. The tower comes out when you need help making this step. You need help taking this action. So the tower comes out because it, it was false from the beginning, and it's time to crumble it down. And they're gonna they're gonna give that little um, uh, blow of the wind to to make it crumble, you know, because it's time. Perhaps you have really learned something big from this because we have the karma card. The, I think it's time to look at things from a new perspective. I think it's time to broaden your horizons. I think you have another choice. All right. And you may not know who this choice is, all right? Now, if you guys aren't in a relationship and you're single, if you're single and you're looking for a relationship, this could be a week that you meet somebody at a gathering, all right? You could meet somebody at a gathering where there's a lot of people, Um and the thing is, is when you do, you're going to have to take action because it's right next to that action. You will know. You will know. You will feel it. You will feel a connection with this person. And the, the you will need to take action towards this person. I have already shuffled these. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle like these. Like this. Um, it's definitely time to refocus. We have that on both ends. Right here and right here, right here. So it's time to think about the, your future, you know, and where you're going to be in next year at this time and the year after that, you know. Just look out this next year and look out three years and, and plan your future. Where do you want to be? It's time for you to, to make a goal and, and work on that because, and it's not that you haven't, but I think it's a new goal. All right. You definitely have this oneness about you. You do have a divine connection, especially this week. Use it to your advantage, okay? I think that it's time for you to build a new foundation for yourself that may include somebody else. Let's see what we can get from this deck. This is the Hermetic Tarot. Oh, yeah, something's over. That's the death card. Temperance, overindulgence. There's been some, maybe there's been some addictions that have hindered things. Um, maybe somebody has been faking their feelings. I'm not sure if it's you or the other person. Um, let me get the rest of the cards. I have a problem with talking before dealing with cards. I think <laughs> I'm going to try to get the cards to help. The magician again, imagine that, and that's the outcome. This power that you have is not going to go away. 
okay? It's not, like I said, you have this divine connection, this power, this awareness, this, um, manifestation, the power to manifest, um, the connection, the, the action, because remember I said action is the center of your reading. Action, speak lou action speaks louder than words. That's not going to go away. It's definitely time for you to take action. And it's, and it's not going to be just this week because this is the outcome. I do think that it's going to go on for a few weeks where you're going to keep taking action. You're going to keep following your own path. You're going to do what you need to do for you. And you're going to do it because... The people from up above, you know, the souls, God, angels, spirits, they're helping you. They're with you and you have that connection. And I think that you're really listening to them. I see you moving to a more peaceful space. Um, this is moving to calmer waters. All right. Because I think that you realize that there's got to be more. There's got to be something better for you out there. You know that there is. And I think that you are really looking to broaden your horizons. You can't put in all the work and not get anything back from it. Okay, with the High Priestess and the Magician right next to each other, and you have it twice, both of these cards, you're so intuitive and you're so aligned with the universe that they, they have your back, they're on your side. That's why the tower is here. They're going to help you because it's your turn. You deserve it, okay? I think that somebody hasn't been, they've been, you know, they haven't been giving you the attention that you deserve. They haven't been. I think maybe they might be even giving it someplace else. They might have been faking for a while. And I, this death card says that it's time for a change. It is. This is a brand new start for you. Something ends so that you can start something over. I mean, start something new. This right here, the Nine of Swords, this has been killing you. The Lord of Despair and Cruelty. I think somebody, and it has been very, um, maybe they've been opinionated. They really haven't thought about you. They haven't um, considered your feelings. They've just been like non-caring towards you. And it feels like it has totally um, stuck a knife right in your heart. And you're just so sad and um it's like you have this mental anguish because you love you love and I think that it's about time for you to take action this week and I think that you might okay because you deserve it all right somebody's been keeping secrets or they think they have that's the thing. That's the story. They think that they have secrets and that you don't know what they are. But the fact is, is your divine connection is so strong that they can't keep any secrets because you know. Do not doubt your intuition because it is true. Okay? It's true. Whatever you think is going on is the truth. That's very prominent here. You do have a divine connection and the messages that you are receiving through you, your inner guide are true. And I think you're moving away from a situation that you weren't respected. You weren't cherished. You weren't honored. Focus on love. Now remember, the timing is fluid on this. So this could have already happened. It could be happening this week. Or it could happen in a few weeks. You know, free will plays a part. If you take action or not plays a part. I mean, <laughs> whenever it is meant to happen, it will happen. Focus. This is meant to be for October 2nd through the 8th. But the, the timing is fluid. Focus on love. Number 24. Look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life. It is easy to see the faults in other people. Think of the positive characteristics of the people in your life. Remember the things that caused you to love them in the first place. 
Focusing on the love will change and heal the negativity that was once there. I think this is on for yourself. And I was going to say that before I read it. I should have. I was going to say for yourself. And I should have just said it. Focus on the love for yourself. That's how I feel. Like I said, you deserve it. I think a lot of you have given so much to somebody and you have given it your all. And perhaps you have lost your sense of self and you need to bring that back. So I think this card is regarding you, but I could be wrong because it's for hundreds and thousands of people. So I will talk to you later, Cancer.